Um, so there we go. Uh, we leave there, and actually, no, 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 no. First things first, we can go back in here. And now, we can access a secret mission. I missed the first one, this is the second secret mission. Um, the first one sucks because you have to play around with the sin scissors and uh, kill it in a specific way and it's pretty pretty finicky and you really need a guide to figure out how to do it, if I'm honest. Um, just to know what to look out for, but uh, anyway, this is um, the second secret mission, which is not easy because you have to kill 100 phantom babies within the time limit, so let's give it a try. So, right off of the bat, you want to uh, run around and step on a bunch of them, because when they're all grouped up like that, uh, it's easiest to kill them. And uh, once you're done with them, just move on to the next patch. I don't think this is very easy, by the way, because uh, what's that? They're constantly moving all over the place and dodging you, and so yeah, it's not very easy. Um, in fact, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, so for beating that, you know, I'll give it one more try. For beating that, you get a blue orb fragment. Uh, there's 12 secret missions in the game, and each of them will give you a blue orb fragment when you finish them. Uh, except for the last one, you get a full blue orb. Um, and it's midway through the mission, which is strange. So, yeah, when they're all clumped up like that together, that's really useful. So I'm going to move on here. Yeah, this mission is not easy because of, you know, how spread out they all are. So, yeah. Uh, I find it's actually easier to do this mission with um, a gun that you get later. Uh, you know, with, uh, with the equipment that you have now, it's really not that easy. Oh, I should probably try sword attacks. This will be my last attempt. <laughs> It's my last attempt and then I'm done because this is... I don't want to drag out the entire episode with this. So, yeah, sword attacks work pretty well. You just gotta hope that Dante will target a cluster of them instead of, you know, one, one single one. So right now he's not doing a good job at targeting a cluster. So yeah, if he could have attacked this side here, then we, you know, would have got closer to it. But unfortunately, he didn't. So oh well. Oh well. Secret missions in this game aren't great, if I'm honest. You know, some of them do have fun challenges that you can do, but a lot of them are just really obscure stuff and really strict on the time limit. Um. Anyway, oh god, it's Phantom. What the hell? So yeah, you can actually fight Phantom again. Um, you don't have to, you can just run away from him and go into a room and then come back and he won't be here. But if you power through him and kill him, then uh, wait for him to go down first. You'll not get much of anything really. <laughs> um, you'll get some orbs, but uh, it's not a crazy amount of orbs. Okay, come in here, and there's nothing here. I'm thinking of something else. That's how uh, we get to hear the Goddess of Time uh, statue theme, which I love in this game. It's really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and get that uh, blue orb, actually. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think this is actually my favorite uh, Goddess of Time theme throughout uh, the five games. I've played through all five games, I haven't played through the reboot because it just doesn't interest me in the slightest, you know, disregarding any of the controversy and all the conflicting opinions on the game's quality itself, I just don't find it that interesting. So I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not playing it. So anyway, now that we've got the uh, Pride of Lion, we can go ahead and use it here. So now we have to break it, and then it falls to pieces, and now it's like, oh, you dunce, now you got to fight me. <laughs> so this is Shadow, one of the worst mini-bosses in the game. Um, 
Also, start moving immediately as soon as the boss begins because, uh, yeah, it'll do that attack which hurts quite a bit. Shadow! I wouldn't say it's harder than Phantom, but he's certainly not easy. Also, yeah, jump on the top of that and get a bunch of red orbs if you want. So what you have to do uh, is you kind of have to just shoot at Shadow a bit. Oh god. Um, until he is vulnerable and exposes his weak point. So this here. From here, you just have to attack the weak point as many times as you can. And so until he's glowing red. Oh god, I got caught. Um, in which case, he'll try to kamikaze you, essentially, like he did to me there. Um, but if you run away from him uh, enough, then he'll eventually just fall to pieces and die on his own, so... Yeah, he's not easy to deal with on harder difficulties. We're on mission 4, right? Yeah. So if I go back out here now, I can't remember when you can start to do this secret mission, because there's, there's a secret mission here. No, not yet. If, uh, if there's a secret mission, then you won't have that little zoom in uh, crossfade effect. Uh, instead, it'll be. you'll fade to black. Just like. it's the same thing when you finish a mission, it has that same effect, so. strange. Also, yeah, the game has a little bit of a stutter when enemies start to load. Going back in here, there's a bunch of Sin Scythe. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, there's Sin Scythe now, not Sin Scissors, just because they're slightly different. Anyway, come up here. And we have ourselves a new area here. So, uh, what you can do is you can climb all the way to the top here, up all these staircases, but I just jump off the middle. Come down here, can't unlock this yet. Uh, and then you just hit this over and over. And you step on this, and it'll automatically take you all the way to the top. So yeah, sometimes you got to go down to go up. Gandhi, I missed the platform. There we go. Alright, so this sick-ass sword, the Death Sentence, is not one that you can use as a weapon, unfortunately. <laughs> it looks super cool. There's something written. The sword is the key to freeing the soul. The key resides at the highest place, which is where we are. Um, I don't really remember there being anything else in the stairwell. Uh, there's something later, but we can't get that now. So anyway, come in here. And uh, we've got a mirror here. It's an amazingly beautiful mirror, but there's still something dark and evil deep within its reflection, as if it's trying to suck me inside. We don't deal with that now. First of all, come to the top of this bed, get a bunch of red orbs. And there's a Goddess of Time statue here if you want it. Um, but I won't go for it for now. Statue of a female with a melancholic expression. There's an opening to play something, shall he's in the distance? Hell yeah, brother. Here we go. Get ourselves the uh, melancholy soul. Alistair doesn't like it. <laughs> So remember that dark reflection stuff? From 30 seconds ago? Here we have Shadow Dante. I'm kidding, this isn't Dante. This is an illusion. This is really Nello Angelo. That's the name of this guy. So he pulls out a whack ass sword and he's says nothing. This stinking hole was the last place I thought I'd find anyone with so guts. So Nello Angel I was just like, alright, let's battle, but not here, it's too tight. <laughs> and then his planet needed him, so he flew off. So the game's like you can't go back. Right, here's what happens, the hand tries to grab you and it will hurt you. So, don't stand too close. Alright, so, can't really do much on this weird shaped balcony, so... Jump down. So 
So here's a sort of rival setup here uh, with Nello Angelo. Also, this is air raid. Oops, this is air raid. So you just jump up in the air and you just spam the shoot button. Um, not very effective on uh, Nello Angelo, um, just because he can block attack. So if you just start hacking, having at him, have at him. So let's see if I can get him to do it here. Alright, <laughs> I took down too much of his health, so he's going up there. So if you keep going at him uh, over and over, he's going to uh, start blocking your attacks. But, uh, and he's going to start to parry, you can see there. So with Devil Trigger, you can actually bypass through his block. So that's pretty useful. Um, but yeah, you can also parry his attacks. So that's pretty cool. It's probably one of the better boss fights in the game. Um, oh god, I forgot he blinds aside you like that. So the trick to him really is just wait until he attacks. Um, that's a pretty good opening is his little uh, orb attack there. Wait until he attacks and then you go after him. So he can be he can be uh, a bit of a pain. Um, to a beginner, but persevere and you'll take him down. But he notices the amulet that we have. The one that said Virgil and Dante, and he has a migraine of his life with his lightning coming out of him. So he doesn't like that. So he dips. Or he ascends, I guess. And that's mission complete. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, what do we get? B. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Uh, uh, I can probably get an S on this mission here. In fact, I'm going to try to because uh, it's one of the shortest missions in the game. It can be beaten in like three minutes. Yeah, missions in this game kind of... Are pretty wild in terms of length. Um, like that one was 12 minutes, right? Um, this next one is like two minutes, and there's a mission later on that you can beat in less than a minute. Guiding of the soul. So we just have to get back to uh, the lion there. That's all we have to do. Uh, unfortunately, I may not get the S rank on this because I'm going to go out of my way to get a few things. Uh, it's just some blue orb fragments. Um, do we... I don't want Vortex. Or oh, round trip. Let's get another purple orb. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, no, that's a yellow orb, never mind. Alright, let's start. Okay, so I want to be quick here, because I'm going to do this fast. So we instantly get taken down here. Now the Melancholy Soul is just sort of in our inventory there. Uh oh, there's another shadow. Yeah, strangely enough, and this one will also try to kamikaze you, which he well not kamikaze, but successfully get at you, which he did. He got me, so. Actually, you know, why don't I just air at him? That works. Uh, yeah, definitely when fighting Shadow, use your Devil Trigger on, um, what's the name, uh, on his orb, you know, when he's, when he's susceptible to damage, because, uh, he actually got me the bugger. He's having the double jump. Um, yeah, use your, use your Devil Trigger on the orbs, that way you can just finish him off in one cycle, because after some time he will just go back to... Um, not doing any damage to him, so. Uh, actually, I can probably get what I'm thinking of later. There's nothing down that way, by the way. Um, I was, yeah, that blue orb there, which is a pain in the ass to get. Uh, I'll get that later. As in, right after this. So we just rush down here. Ignored the Sin Scythe. Come down here. 
press yes. End of the mission. It's super quick. I hope I got the S rank there. I should have. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, didn't get enough orbs, is the thing. Oops. Damn, I wanted at least one S rank. Uh, uh, I can probably get one later on, actually. The one that I was referring to that's like less than a minute long. That mission I could probably get an S rank on. Alright, so next mission. Uh, I'm going to go back up to the courtyard there and I'm going to get uh, that... Well, attempt to get that blue orb fragment. It's really hard to do without uh, the double jump. Actually, I could probably do it because I have air right. I just need to have Devil Trigger for there, so... Yes, let's get the blue orb, sure. The moves that we can buy with Alistair, you really just, you just want uh, Stinger, I guess Stinger level 2, and... Uh, what's the name? What's the other one? Uh, air Raid, and that's it. Anyway, come over to here and you get a blue orb. Yeah, a lot of these aren't very obvious, so... Uh, anyway, let's go back out here. Yeah, while there is a mission structure, you can still go to... Yeah, you can really go to any part of the level that you want. Also, these specific... Uh, I believe these are the Sin Scythe. Um, if you're going for all enemy files, you really need to uh, look up a guide on how to get one of the enemy... Or one of their paragraphs, because one of their paragraphs is like... Get killed by their one attack. Um, which is an insta-kill attack, but it's really hard to get it to activate. You really have to be in a certain position, in a certain situation. It's actually, it's really hard to get hit by it as well. Um, so I recommend search up a guide on how to do that one because it's not not obvious at all. And uh, it sucks because, you know, you might think, okay, I did my normal playthrough, my hard playthrough, and my uh, Dante Must Die playthrough. So now I just need to do, so yeah, jump up here, come over to here, and you get a free untouchable, so that's pretty good. Um, uh, now let me concentrate while I try to get this, because I'm going to try and air raid it, and I only get one shot, really. So if I go into flight mode here, crap, I messed it up. God damn, ah, I wasn't high enough. So this one's going to be a pain to get, if I get it, because... I don't think you can get it later either, so... Yeah, I may just skip this one. <laughs> it's annoying as hell to get. Oh, uh, how did you get it again? Yeah, I think you... I think you try to bounce off this wall here. Uh, and try to land on that upper platform. But it's super hard to do. Yeah, you really do need the double jump for this one. Give it a few more goes. We well, can sort of get a bit of elevation there off of this wall. That's uh, yeah, I can't. I don't have Devil Trigger built up, so I can't go ahead and use Air Raid again. God damn it, I messed up my chance. Oh well. Won't really need it anyway. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the mission at hand. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, it really sucks trying to get that paragraph where you have to kill, uh, die by their attack, because it's really the only one in the game where you have to get killed. Um, and, uh, well, there's one that's pretty similar to it, but you can do it without getting killed. Uh, and it sucks, because if you're trying to platinum the game, and you think, okay, well, I've done my normal playthrough, hard playthrough, Dante Must Die playthrough somehow, and uh, now I just need to go get all the enemy files and beat the game... Uh, without dying once. Also, this is just like a hit this over and over and you get a bunch of red orbs. Um, so I think, okay, well, I'll kill two birds with one stone by getting all the enemy files and uh, playing the game without dying once uh, on, you know, one on fell swoop. Kill two birds with one stone. Uh, but if you miss that file where you have to kill yourself, then yeah, you can't exactly do that. Because, you know, that, that'll cancel the uh, the trophy for going through the game without dying, so that sucks. Anyway, come in here, you get a rusty key. 
And now we fight these guys, Beelzebubs. Not THE Beelzebub, but just Beelzebubs. So these enemies I always forget are even in the game, because they're, they're very infrequent. Um, they don't pop up very often. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of strange. Anyway, Air Raid is just the best thing ever, because it also builds up your style meter as well. It just decimates everything. And you can fly, so that's... Well, you can sort of just glide. Can't really go up in altitude. Mid-flight, anyway. Um, can't fly until DMC2, <laughs> where it's actually pretty cool there. So anyway, we get that, and there's... I keep wanting to say buggers, or... I can't remember what they're actually called in Halo. Um, they're either buggers or, or drones. It's one of those two names. Um, but that's what they remind me of. Because, well, I did just finish Halo 2, so... Uh, I'm pretty glad to be playing this game, because it's, uh, it's pretty short. Uh, I always find short Let's Plays fun. Because, you know, play it for one or two recording sessions, and that'll do. Um, now you can move on to the next one. So there's a bunch of green orbs there. Oh, actually, if... Is there something here if I jump? No, I don't think so. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Uh, there it is. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. So, um, if you're in a fight and you're out of Devil Trigger and you want to build it up really quickly, then you can taunt the enemy. So they have to... You can't really be... You can't have them knocked down. They have to be in a position where they can attack you. You can press the right trigger um, in order to taunt them. Anyway, this guy here is annoying. Death... Death... Scissors? Death scissors, I think it is. So anyway, because it's one of these types of bosses, you really just have to um, what's that? hit it over and over with uh, gun attacks, which is annoying. Um, unless you've got Devil Trigger built up, wherein you can use Air Raid. In fact, let's actually taunt. You see, we've gained a bit of Devil Trigger there. So let's go ahead and use that. So unfortunately, when he starts becoming immune to damage, he's going to do this drill attack, which is annoying. Just jump. Don't try to roll out of the way because I find rolling out of this guy's path is annoying because you won't really be able to easily tell where he's coming from. So, yeah, I find jumping is actually better to deal with him. So we've got Air Raid built up again. Go ahead and use that. Air Raid's crazy useful, seriously, especially on Hard and Dante Must Die. Because it just allows you to cheese encounters. Just build up Devil Trigger using a technique that we'll discover later. And then use Air Raid and then win the game, essentially. But yeah, he's really annoying to deal with. I always hate fighting this guy. Let's taunt him. Oh, he's going to do the thing. I really hope I don't die here. I don't have Devil Trigger yet. Hello? I'm actually focusing now. <laughs> oh! God. <laughs> that was a terrible performance, I'm sorry. Ugh, so now we gotta try that again. Yeah, I really don't like this boss. He's just annoying to deal with because it's you have to hit him with uh, gunshots over and over. Which are not powerful in DMC1 at all. I mean, you can use sword attacks, but he's just gonna dodge out of the way most of the time. Which is super annoying, so... Well, there goes the uh, untouchable playthrough. Oh, well. So let's try that again. Granted, that's because shotguns work at close range. Especially because it's a video game shotgun and they have no range on them. And his attacks aren't exactly the most well telegraphed thing. So it's kind of hard to tell when he's gonna 
just do an attack, or he's going to sort of fly around a bit. Even then, his, his attacks are pretty delayed, so... Is he doing good yet? Yeah, he is. Yeah. So the timing of this attack is, you have to jump much lighter than you think. You have to get out of the way much lighter than you think, because he's just... He tends to attack much lighter than you think he will. Which is super annoying to deal with. So now let's just go for Air Raid here. You can still get uh, damaged while in Devil Trigger, so... Is he doing the drill? Yeah, he, ugh. See, I can't tell there because he's not on the screen. I don't think he's my least... Mm, he might be my least... But, uh, he's certainly down there as one of my least favorite bosses. Let's just taunt a bit. He's just not... He has a lot of health as well. And that's in the... Uh, The shotgun doesn't do tons of damage. Ebony and Ivory do even less, so I wasn't gonna I'm not gonna go for that. Let's taunt him a bit. There we go. Christ, it takes a while. Okay. Well, then we continue on and we grab the guiding light. And that's the end of the mission. Not a very snazzy performance, but uh, oh well, C rank. <laughs> the lowest rank you can get is a D rank, so, and the highest is uh, S, so. Yeah, not a fantastic performance so far, but uh, oh well. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, sorry about any um, birds or sounds that you made. Like, you can probably hear that crow, right?